And good evening from the Sun News Network studios in the nation's capital. I'm David Aiken. Thank you for watching. We start with a developing story in battleground Alberta, where it looks like Rob Anders, the longtime conservative MP for Calgary West, is considering a run for the leadership of Alberta's Wild Rose Party. Anders was first elected to the House of Commons in 1997 and had hoped to run again this fall, but he lost the conservative nomination to Ron Lightbird, a former provincial progressive conservative MLA. Conservative activist Stephen Taylor broke the news this afternoon that Anders is now lining up donors for a potential run at the Wild Rose leadership. All right, let's bring in Lauren Genter now for this particular story. And Lauren, the, the, the joke sort of here in Ottawa circles was Rob Andrews leading the Wild Rose, kind of like the guy who's now running the Bloc Québécois, Mario Beaulieu. For those who don't know, Mario was really doubling down on good old-fashioned BQ standards. He's a separatist. He's hardcore. I suspect Andrews would do the same thing with Wild Rose. Hardcore, grassroots, no taxes, hard right. Right, and as you pointed out, uh, whenever the election is called this year, very likely, he's going to be out of work. So he needs a new job. So he, this is uh, this is also casting around for new employment. There, there's a lot of talk right now about potential Wild Rose con uh, uh, candidates. Derek Fildebrand, former Canadian Taxpayers Federation, his name is out there. Shane Saskew, the MLA. Um, and, and when you think of these, who, these potential uh, contestants, A, they've got to rebuild a party that's just taken a licking for the last little while. And then they got to think, can whoever wins this thing beat Premier Prentice? That sounds yeah. like a tough job. Well, it, it is if if that's what you think the goal of your party is, is to form government. If if you think it's the, the goal of the Wild Rose Party to be the conscience of the legislature, that's a different matter. And if you decide you're going to be the conscience, you don't have to rebuild an entire apparatus all the way across the province. You don't expect you're going to win in all 87 ridings or even run candidates in all 87. Uh, and so it depends. You know, you maybe need to say you're going to try and upset the Tories. You maybe need to say you're going to have candidates in 87 ridings in order to attract the kind of money and candidates you want. But at the same time, too, it, it, I think it's unrealistic for them to expect they're going to beat the Tories. So, so maybe there is a, a niche for them to be the right of center conscience in the Alberta legislature to hold the Tories' feet to the fire, the way they did for two previous premiers who they were able to harass out of office. Let me ask a little bit more about Rob Andrews because, of course, Lauren, as you know, um, when Daniel Smith was running uh, as Wild Rose uh, leaders, there was a lot of federal conservatives, Rob Andrews prime among them, but probably folks like Jason Kenney, etc., Paul Storseth, you name it, uh, Kevin Sorison, who, uh, if not publicly, privately kind of liked the idea of Wild Rose. They certainly didn't like Allison Redford's PC party. But my sense is the Federal Conservative Caucus and those who support them would probably be more inclined to support Jim Prentice uh, as a PCer than Rob Anders, their former yeah. caucus colleague. Yeah, for sure. And, and the interesting thing about Anders is that uh, every year, uh, every election after his first election in, in, in 97, he faced a challenge for the nomination in his own riding from social conservatives. And those are the very people who are the really the only people left in uh, in Wild Rose, or at least the, the, the majority of the people left in Wild Rose mm -hmm. are social conservatives. So he is not a natural fit, but he is a bigger name than any of the other people who are thinking of running, uh, not by much. You know, Derek Fildebrand is well known in Alberta, but uh, Rob Andrews is better known. And, uh, and he would give their race instant credibility, even if he doesn't win. Yeah, I think it's going to be, well, an interesting, uh, it's going to be an interesting year in Alberta politics, because I think we're going to have an election, too. Uh, Lauren Gunter is in Edmonton for us tonight. Lauren, thanks. You bet.